just Simone Charisse, and when I'm not wearing wigs and weaves, so I'm walking around looking like this. <laughs> Okay, so today in this video, I'm doing another natural hair type of video. My hair, I feel like it's so damaged and I feel like it needs like a full on deep condition like moment. A couple of months ago, I partnered up with Natural and I used their deep conditioning serum. It was an avocado mask and it made my hair feel freaking amazing. So today I'm like, you know what? I need some more of that stuff. It made my hair feel amazingly silky and it was easy to comb through and easy to deal with. So I'm like, okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> Let's go back to Natural. So I'm going to be using their damaged hair solution if you guys have noticed if you guys have used them or anything the packaging has changed so it's a little bit more cuter and smaller the other pouch I remember it was saying it came a little bit larger and it did promise that you could use the pouch about two to three uses out of that pouch this one is kind of just saying you can only use this pouch once so you know there's a few steps to get started with this natural thing the first step is you want to keep it in the freezer so when you get it if you know you're not going to use it immediately go ahead and store it in the freezer just so it can help to keep the contents a little bit more fresher in the package when you're ready to use it you want to go ahead and thaw it out for about two hours and then go ahead and place it on your scalp next you're going to go ahead and you want to go ahead and just wet your hair dampen it because um pretty sure it's a little bit harder to work with dry hair Nuts with this. <laughs> I have a lot of gel in my hair from when I wore it in a ponytail, so ignore whatever white stuff you're seeing. It's not dandruff, okay? It's not dandruff. Ooh, it smells really good. <laughs> Open it, it kind of looks like avocado. So, this is how it looks inside. Actually, I'm gonna part my hair in sections because last time I did it first and then part my hair in section and because it looks like there's a little bit more, a little less product, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair and then put the product in. <laughs> Well, it does have a smell, but it kind of smells like a food. <laughs> it smells like a seasoning, but it's not a seasoning, so don't go ahead and try to eat it. It smells like how it did last time. It smells like a bunch of different natural, healthy kind of products. My hand, I am able to finger comb my hair with this product. I remember last time I was able to just slip my fingers through. And right now my hair is like the most in this most kinkiest form because I, like I said I haven't combed it in like three days and I had a whole bunch of gel in it so it's in its kinkiest form and my hand is just like sliding through it so that's actually really cool so you can see oh my hair looks kind of shiny in camera like the brush is literally sliding through my hair so this is really this is really cool you can see it's just sliding I feel like if you have like super super strong 4c hair this product is a death nail for you all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side out the rest an incredible amount a whole lot came in here actually so that's actually ooh, look at that. <laughs> a lot comes in the package so if you have like super long hair and you're worried about if it's gonna even spread, oh, it's gonna spread. Last time also, I think there were like little more little pieces in it. This time there isn't any little pieces, so I love that about it. It's all in my hair. I'm gonna kind of let it just sit for, it says to let it sit for 20 to 40 minutes. Um, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and hit an hour and just let it sit in my hair for an hour. It gives you like your definition. My hair feels really soft and silky. I could just slide 
my hands through my hair. Ooh, pretty. Up here is looking good. So I probably could just sniff off all of this, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> That's all my heat damage. That's like the only part of my hair. Since we done this, you should use your regular cleansing products. So I don't usually shampoo my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just probably condition my hair on top of this after I'm done. Cause I don't really shampoo my hair. <laughs> so yes, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the straightening and then the trimming because I need to trim these ends. They just look a little crazy. This, I'm going on a natural hair journey, guys. All right, and I would love you guys to come along during that journey and possibly do the same thing. So I'm gonna do this for two months. Um, it's like a two month trial kind of thing and I want you guys to go ahead and come with me on the journey. Let's get this hair natural because not only do we wear wigs and weaves, but everything underneath should be natural as well. So I really wanna stress that. So I'll have a link for you guys down below for you to go ahead and purchase your serum. And let's do this for two months and see what our progress is. Okay, so now I'm going to take off my... Uh, I'm about to go ahead and wash this because... Okay, guys. All right, so I just showered and I just washed my hair and I braided it in four, you know? This is how it looks. I'm just going to go ahead and unbraid it. So I have the serum from Natural as well. And you kind of just spread it throughout your hair so let me i just want to test it because i hmm, i'm not too fond of the smell too much but it does smell very um natural it does have a very odd smell so i'm not sure if i'm in like with that so i really do not like the smell of this it's very um very strong i'm personally not a fan of it so I'm gonna put a small amount. All right, and the only reason why I'm gonna be actually using this is because I do wanna see the growth within the next two months. So I am gonna try to use this consistently in especially on my edges. Usually I don't blow dry my hair, but because I'm trying to trim it and see how far it's gotten in growth, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it, so. the first section that's done oh my hair got a little bit of life to it okay let me find it out sims <sighs> all right so this is the right side now i'm going to go ahead and move on to the left side This is my end result. My hair was, you know, honestly, out of all the time I've ever blow dried my hair, this is probably the easiest time. It's literally only been like 10 minutes, and I think that was from me detangling it, one, in the beginning, and then it being so nice and straight and smooth towards the end, like when I was in the shower. Sorry, if you can hear that sound, it's a chair. So I had, it felt really, my hair feels really good. It feels really healthy actually. It feels very full and nice and oily. I put a lot of oil. Ooh. Show you hang time. Okay, I didn't think I'd be able to do a bun or my hair up. So my hair has definitely grown. That's always a good thing. Definitely grown, definitely. From the last time that I did my trim. So my hair is very oily. I think I put way too much castor oil. I put way too much oil in my hair. My hair's already kind of, the back I know is good. I never really have an issue with the back.
dead ends right now. I'm not really looking for like a layered or a how to cut properly. This is where my hair is at today and I feel like I've come a long way because if you remember my first 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 like tutorial I had like the my hair was dyed and it was short it's a little afro and then it grew a little bit and then I went ahead and cut it again so I want to say this is about a year's worth after my big chop okay that's what I want to say it is but my hair does feel very it's very thick it's been a long journey but i'm gonna try not to cut my hair because i have this habit where once it starts growing i end up like cutting it into a short hairstyle then it never comes out right i get so mad at myself and then i end up having to do this all over again but i want to say this is probably the longest my hair has been in a long time so it feels very good it feels very good i'm probably gonna go to a natural hair salon the next time and i'm probably going to get it professionally trimmed I've just been trying to like save money, so I've been like trimming it myself and watching YouTube tutorials. <laughs> but my hair is so greasy right now, guys. <laughs> I put so much oil in it. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you, yo, y'all need to come with me on this natural hair journey. I hope you guys do come with me on this natural hair journey. But I'm gonna actually have the link down below, so if you guys want, you can buy all the products that I just used. And I'm probably gonna do another deep condition, probably another two or two and a half weeks ish. But I'm really gonna go ahead and use these, um, this growth serum. I feel like this is gonna be the key to like my hair growing and stuff, and just getting nice and thick. My hair feels amazing right now from all these products. Castor oil itself does not smell that good anyway, so I guess that's what you get when you mix a scent with castor oil, but it's okay. Because I know um, things that don't smell that good usually are really good for your hair. <laughs> so I think this is gonna be, I'm gonna get really positive results, mark my word. So today is what, April? Today's April 28th, so May 28th will have made one month and then june 28th will have made two months so um i'm really curious to see how this makes my hair grow and how it makes it feel so i plan on coming back here to do this entire straightening thing all over again i really was gonna fly in my hair but eh, i have enough heat damage in the front so let's just keep this video simple but yeah thanks for watching this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys like my results Bye guys, join the journey, the link is down below.